So the non-gaming renaissance of Las Vegas continues. How's it going out there, you and YouTube, and also you and you who are watching this? We're going to talk today about the fact that permission has been granted for a giant $850 million resort that doesn't, wait for it, does not have a casino floor. So breaking on the news last night, breaking on my channel this morning, the majestic Las Vegas has been given the go-ahead to be constructed. By the way, my name's Steven. I am not leaving Las Vegas. If you like Vegas stuff, you're planning on moving here, living here, vacationing here, coming to watch a football game, coming to watch a hockey game, make sure you hit the like, share, subscribe buttons, and then bash that bell. But don't bash it so hard you break your phone. Then you know when I do new videos. Anyways, here's the deal. At 305 Convention Center Drive, there used to be a Clarion Hotel. Before that, it was the Greek Isles. Before that, it was the Debbie Reynolds. It just so happens as a little nice little tidbit of trivia, the Debbie Reynolds Hotel was the one of the very first timeshares in the entire city of Las Vegas, don't you know? And uh, a developer has been given permission to build an 850 million 45 story hotel tower with no casino. You heard that right, no casino. As a matter of fact, it's going for a wellness approach. And uh, it uh, very, very strangely alludes to uh, um, wellness treatments. And I almost kind of wonder what that's gonna be. I saw a billboard for stem cells, stem cell treatments in that area just the other day. So there's definitely a high-tech medical sector in Vegas. There's also um, tra uh, travel tourism based on cosmetic surgery that people come here for outpatient, outpatient surgeries where they come here to get some kind of procedure done cosmetically. Then they spend a few days in Vegas enjoying the town before they go back home after getting all the, all the bandages taken off and people go, wow, you look so different. And they go, yeah, it must be that Vegas special air. So there's a new game in town and it's called Hotel Casino. Who needs a casino? We're just gonna build a big old hotel. And this is really interesting. It's a new take on what Steve did with Steve Wynn did with the Mirage way back in 1989 where, hey look, we're gonna build something. It's a destination where you can see a show, do a dinner, have some entertainment and gamble. But let, let's take the gambling out of that entirely because there's a new generation of people, people like me, I'm actually a millennial by exactly 18 days. Had I been born December 31st, uh, 1980, I wouldn't be a millennial technically. So there's a whole new generation of people who don't gamble. And it's reflected in the state's gambling revenues. It's reflected in the fact that if you do a job and you work in the business and you ask people, are you guys gambling while you're here? A lot of them will say no. They don't see as that as a value for them. And so this resort's building something that says it's a value for them. It'll be interesting to see because this is right where the new convention center is going up. Uh, this is right in an area that's going to have a giant resort with Resorts World next to it. And this is up in an area that does not get a lot of foot traffic, not too far from the now defunct and closed Lucky Dragon. But this one is right on Convention Center Drive, about one block away from the main strip and one block away from the convention center. So I imagine they're catering to people who are um, young, hip dynamos who are coming in for these shows, for consumer electronics for the SEMA show, for all these things, and they're not caring about the gaming revenue. They probably got the land for a good deal because it's been up for, um, uh, it's been up for purchase for quite some time, and they probably don't need to recoup the costs, and it's probably very hard for them to get themselves a gaming license, so they just forego all that, and they say, forget it. This is our hook. This is our gimmick. This is what we're doing. What do you think about this? Is this the new future of Las Vegas? Tell me in the comments below if this is the new future of Las Vegas. The comments are right by that like button, which you should hit. And I'm interested to see what you have to think about this. My take on it is simple. I've been saying for quite some time, we're transitioning from a gambling town into a services town. Everybody sees the writing on the wall. The big boys in the casinos, they don't like the idea. The state doesn't like the idea. If less casinos had less hotels had no casinos in them, this state would have to change its entire revenue generation model. We would have to have higher business taxes, possibly personal state income taxes. So is this a sign of the times? I'm not sure. You can tell me in the comments. My name's Steven, not leaving Las Vegas. This is a news blog update thingy for you. If you're watching this, apparently I'm doing a live stream at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm also not a morning person. I'm usually not even up this early, but when you're motivated to do things for yourself, you get up early. Thanks for watching, sharing, liking. I gotta go and tackle my day. 
What are you doing today on your day? Talk to you guys in the comment below. Bye-bye.